All right, here's the crank, guys. This journal here is really scored. This is the journal that was on the good rod. And this is the journal that was on the bad rod, and it looks like brand new. So I actually have a micrometer here. And I'm going to use that micrometer to measure these surfaces and see what, what we've got. And then we'll uh, find out what we need to do as far as a undersized rod, etc. for this thing. Now I've got this Starrett micrometer that I got for Christmas. And let's see if I can get a reading here on this crank. I'm not that good at using it yet. It takes a little practice. Let's see. So we've got, let's see, I'm coming up with one point six four that's really weird one point six oh four it's supposed to be one point six two four so that would mean that it's already twenty thousandths under on this rod I think I got a bad reading let's try it again Yeah, 1.59. Let's try it this way. I think it's out of round. This side we have 1.611. Yeah, it's definitely not round. It's definitely out of round, a lot. So, going this way I got 1.611. Going this way I've got... One point... Let's see, a little less than six. So, something is out of round with that journal. Let's look at this journal. Over here I got 1.621. Basically 1.621. It's supposed to be 1.625. One point six one point six oh no two two seven yeah six two five six point two five six six point two five six six point two five something like that I wasn't sure if you guys knew how a micrometer worked, but on here we've got a scale and each part of that scale is a tenth of an inch. You see zero, one, two, three, four, five. Between each one of those tenth of an inch markers is four marks, so you got like if it was one mark, it would be say one, two, five, two marks, one, five, oh, three marks, one, seven, five, then two. And then between each of those marks, you've got thousands, which measure 
over here on this part so it goes like 1 through 25 over there so really when you're measuring something you got tenths and then 025s and then for each 025 you got another 25 over here and then there's a section over here with these lines and that brings you to the fourth decimal spot where you find out which one of those lines matches and that gets you your fourth decimal spot so this little star at uh, number 436 one to two inch micrometer can measure to four decimal places I got made fun of by a lot of guys because I was using a Harbor Freight digital caliper to measure a crankshaft which in my opinion is a good starting point if you don't have a micrometer and just for argument's sake if we look down at the crank that I was working on here you know if I was to measure this bad one with the Harbor Freight I'll put it on here let's see I got 1.6095 1.6115 you get the idea if I come back to my fancy micrometer we'll put that on here we'll try to snug it up we'll take it off and we've got one point basically one point five seven five plus twenty thousand one point five nine five so it is off twenty thousands from each other oh I didn't measure it this way I gotta measure this way hold on yeah this thing is way out of round that's the problem if I measure the crank going this way I'm at one point six one three and try it again. One point six one one. And do this again. One point six one two with the Harbor Freight. So, for all you uh, naysayers out there that said that this thing is a piece of crap, this twenty dollar caliper. It's within a thousandth or two of the fancy uh, measuring tool. So for all you guys that want to get a rough estimation of something, this $20 Harbor Freight caliper is good enough for knowing if you need to turn it or not. So again, uh, it's really a shame that that side of the crank is trashed. Not really sure how to deal with that, but the other side is... Uh, 1.625 exactly which is what it's supposed to be and uh, so I got one bum side of the crank and one good side and uh, that really sucks now I have a second crank that I bought on eBay for 25 bucks and uh, I figured for 25 bucks why not right what's the harm let me go get that crank we'll take a look at that one all right, so this is the $25 crank from eBay, and it has some issues that I'm not thrilled about, like a lot of nicks here, or the flywheel mounts. I'm not sure how that affects operations or not, but this one here, the journals look pretty, uh, somewhat decent. Now I'm just gonna measure them with the Harbor Freight guy here for a minute. And let's see. Let's see where we stand here. Zero it out. So I got 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 1.6, 
see. It seems that both the journals on the flywheel end are pretty much in spec on both these cranks and the opposing journal which would be on the you know transmission side seems to be way under what this one is which is kind of weird like why would that be is there more wear on one cylinder than the other why would both cranks have that same issue so I'm almost thinking that my $25 crank here is going to be a better way to go. Let me see if I can mic it with the mic here. Man. Yeah. Mike is hard to use, I'll tell you that. But you can use it to tell if it's round, which is very helpful. And uh, basically, I'm trying to get a measurement at the widest point of this crank. So here I got 1.624, which is dead on to what it's supposed to be. 1.624 going this way one point six two four going that way let me turn it ninety degrees here and we'll try again see when I go ninety degrees this thing is not round in fact uh, let me grab this camera here when I go 90 degrees, there's a lot of space. You see all that space down there? And there's a good amount of space between my uh, micrometer, which tells me that this thing's way this thing is way out of round. Now, again, looking at this other side, I'm at 1.597 and it's fairly tight. And if I take my micrometer, again, this is 1.597 going up and down. If I go sideways, I really have to loosen this thing a lot. Let me just see where I'm at here. Over here, if you can see. I'm at 1.614 basically. So if I was at roughly 1 uh, 5.95 to 1. Point, to 6.15, I'm like 20 thousandths out of round on this crank pin, which is not cool. So basically both crankshafts suck. That's my conclusion here. And I'm not sure what to do to be honest with you. I don't know how far under you can get a rod for an Onan crank, but if I'm at 1.95, I don't know, you know, how easy it is for the guy to turn it to make it round, but let's assume it's got to be like 1.9 you know, uh, or something like that. Sorry, 1.59. So is that 59 and stock is supposed to be... 624 you know you're really talking about a 30 thousandths under rod to a 40 thousandths under rod and i'm just not sure uh, that there's a such thing out there so that is my issue